In experiment one, we investigate how concentration affects enzyme activity. We first start out by placing iodine in potassium iodide solution in the microplate wells. The iodine solution will react with any starch present turning a black-blue color. The enzyme amylase will be used to break down the starch. Amylase breaks down starch and glycogen into smaller glucose molecules such as maltose and oligosaccharides. Amylase is normally present in the body in saliva or produced in the pancreas. This enzyme is important in biological reactions. What the enzyme does is catalyze the breakdown of starch by splitting it into smaller chains. In order to speed up digestion, these enzymes are important in breaking down these large starch molecules. Amylase works best in pH 7 solutions, so alpha amylase was prepared from a powder in a pH 7 buffer. Alpha amylase is then added to each test tube containing different concentrations of starch solution starting from 0.5 and then 1%, 2% and 4% starch. The concentrations were edited from the original lab procedures because starch in higher percentages or concentrations tends to form a gel. In each microplate well, drops of starch mixed with the enzyme amylase is added and tested for the presence of starch. If there is a black or dark color change, that means starch is still present, while no color change indicates that all the starch has been broken down by the amylase. Each solution is tested in one minute intervals. Starch molecules attach to the active site on the complex protein structures of the enzyme. The enzyme greatly increases the rate of reaction, making them up to a million times faster. The enzyme holds the substrate in place with weak bonds such as hydrogen bonds and gently bends the substrate, weakening chains. The active site and the substrate work together like a lock and key with a specific enzyme only fitting specific substrates. After releasing the altered substrate, the enzyme is available to affect a new reaction. Most enzymes have a name that ends in ACE and has a name specific to what it breaks down. So amylase the enzyme used in this case specifically breaks down amylose, also known as starch. Enzymes are not consumed in the reaction, but only speed up the rate of reaction. The important biological processes and reactions that occur in our body all are assisted by enzymes and otherwise would not take place in reasonable biological time. From the results, we notice that the 0.5 solution is almost immediately consumed by the enzyme. So in the first well, there is no dark color change. The 1% solution shows that majority of the substrate is consumed after about 6 minutes, while the 2% solution takes about 11 minutes before the color starts to get lighter. The 4% solution, however, does not show much change in coloration over the 10 minute time. 
the enzyme and the starch work best if freshly made and stored at a specific temperature. This may have affected the results as the experiment had to be carried out several times before clear data could be achieved. In experiment two, we investigate how temperature affects enzyme activity. In a lab, we can manipulate pH and temperature in an experiment to increase its rate of reaction. But in our body, we cannot do the same as we maintain homeostasis. The catalyst abelase is important in the reaction for the breakdown of starch. Enzymes have an ideal temperature which the rate of reaction is at its highest. 1% starch solution is placed in four controlled environments. One is placed in an ice bath, one at room temperature, one at 37 degrees Celsius, and the final at about 80 degrees Celsius. The test tubes containing these solutions, as you see, are placed in each environment so as to reach the temperature of the environment. Once amylase is added to each tube of solution, we wait a few seconds and start the timer and then begin to test for the presence of starch in each specific temperature environment. In Belize, room temperature ranges from about 27 to 30 degrees Celsius, while our normal body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. Enzyme activity slows down in lower temperatures, while in extreme temperatures, the proteins in an enzyme can be denatured, which will cause no reaction to occur. As you view the experiment, notice that the solution at room temperature has little to no starch remaining, having a slight color change, while the solution at 37 degrees Celsius has already consumed all the starch, so there is no color change. The solutions in the ice bath and the 80 degrees temperature both still have strong presence of starch. Now let's speed up the reaction, see what happens after 10 minutes in each condition.
the solution that was in the ice bath to the far left shows slight color change in the wells, while the solution that was in the 80 degrees Celsius temperature shows no color change. There is still that very strong black color.